Nate. Yes? You smell that? No. Wait, smells yep. like a... No, it's smells not. like a... Beefy haul. Mm. Oh, It's kind of big. It smells, oh, it smells <laughs> a beefy. It smells beefy. <laughs> so <laughs> beefy, bro. That's gross. We... Uh, that is our intro. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. That's all we got for you. <laughs> what up, YouTube? It's Two Fat Guys Pull Us here, and we've got another comic book haul video for you for the week of January 16th. I said nope. January again. January again. It's June, goddammit. It's June, June 16th. June 16th. Um, yeah, so let's just get into it, because uh, we got we got a lot. We got a beefy haul. We got a couple announcements to make, so oh, let's just do? get into it. So, okay. for... <laughs> first right. up, first, will you let me start? No. First up, we have okay, Planet Size X Men. Planet Size X Men number one from Gary Dugan. Uh, Planet Size X Men. This book's not that much bigger than a normal book, but it feels big. Like yes, I'm so excited for this book. I just Pepe Larraz is back. Gary's on the book. I'm just. Tell them this is a potential pick of the week. I'm going to have like five this week, so just be, I'm, I'm warning you now, super stoked. I honestly, just by looking at, not even from reading, just by looking, I honestly don't, I think today or this week will be the first week I refuse to make a pick of the week. Wow. You know I, what? I just don't know I, that I can do that. I kind of like that, but we have, I have to push the pick of the week button. So if we have to hit it like six times, we okay, hit, it six you times. hit it on every single book that I think should be a pick of the week then. I'm, I will do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. After that, we have another Hellfire Gala tie-in. This is mm. New Mutants 19. Yes, 19. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, first thing I noticed right away when I was looking up at the names, no Rod Rice on this particular yep. issue, which bums yep. me out a little bit. Well, um, however, however Hellfire Gala, I'm liking it so far. I think it's a lot of fun. I mm -hmm. like seeing the, um, the mutants uh, intermingle with the rest of the world. Yep. Cool. For sure. Seeing seeing new people on the island is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. All right. After that, we have X Corp number two. Tini Howard, please. Is it better than the first one? I hope so. Let's let's hope so. Like I'm just kind of like, <laughs> I'm I'm giving it a shot. Okay. I'm I'm not gonna jump off after the second issue, but it no. better wow the fuck out of me because the first issue was so poo poo, <laughs> and it it it, he, it hurts me to say that. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Those are uh, those are our X books this week. Uh, next book up, we'll see if I can pick it up. Ugh. It's beefy. Venom oh. two hundred or thirty five. Look God, at this. This is a. It's so this... big that they literally mod it. Like they literally labeled the spine like a trade. It feels like a <sighs> National Geographic book, dude. Like it does. It's a big book. I'm very frustrated at how how cheaply made this book was though i know i understand that it's a lot of pages here but like this book was delayed by months mm -hmm. you had time at ten dollars is a big premium to be paying i don't care how many pages are in here it's still less pages than a typical ten dollar trade yep you could have at the very least given me a firmer uh a firmer cover than this beefier, beefier paper, cover. a beefier cover. Yeah. And the glue job on this uh, square bound is... It's ridiculous when literally all of the independent uh, companies are doing a better job than you are. This is a total wow. call-out on Marvel, not Venom. This book I'm very excited about. All right, all right. Me too. We'll see if, we'll see if Donnie <laughs> can stick the landing. Yeah. <laughs> After that, we've got Demon Days Mariko, I believe is how you say yeah. it. Mariko. Mar Mariko, yeah. Mariko, uh, from The Great Peach Momoko. Uh, yeah. This is another p potential pick of the week for me. Um, I cannot wait to read this book. I, I, mean, I can't read to read all of our books, but like this, we've been waiting for almost three months for this book. Yeah, and then been a long I time. know we're not getting the next book until September. So this, oof. it's oof. But hopefully we get a second and third print for this book, too. Slow burn. <laughs> 
Uh, after that, we have our piddly little event that has been going on during the summer. <laughs> I say that event. It's not really an event. Uh, Heroes event. Reborn, number seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems like we are done with the character highlights for Thank our God. final our final issue. Um, obviously, we have Heroes Return, which is the finale of the event. But uh, let's, let's see what we're going to do once we get some actual, like, Besides two or three pages of story in the back. Um, and I can't re- help but re- notice, once again, we're, we're done away with the character books, which is supposed to, you know, they, they were highlighting different artists as they went by. Mm-hmm. And yet, um, McGinnis is still not the artist on this book. The primary Something's artist. Up. Something's up. I, like, st- I, I, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm not an artist. I'm not in comics. I don't understand any, how any of that works. But please stop telling me who the primary artist is and advertising his name all in an event if he is doing less than 10% of the total book. Totally agree. Because that's the most disappointing thing I think about this event is that I was looking forward to his art in this book because I was like, man, it's going to feel like we're back to the the foundation, the very beginning of this Avengers run when it was him, when it was Aaron uh, uh, and McGinnis. And that has not been what this run has been at all. That has not been the case. And to round up our Heroes Reborn, we have a tie-in, mm. Weapon X, and the final flight. Um, you know, I've been picking up the, the tie-ins. Canadians. And, you know, I haven't been reviewing most of them because they haven't been that good. So hopefully this one is. I peeked inside of it. The artwork's actually quite nice. Um, so cool. it's a, a Brizen is the writer. Oh, okay. And Bosich is the artist. Um, either way, I'll read it. And if it makes the show, it makes the show. <laughs> if it makes it, it makes it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's right. Uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to see if Ed Brizen was from Canada, and it wasn't easily accessible within two seconds, so I will skip it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, after that, we have Fantastic Four number mm. 33. Uh, this is, I think, the actual wedding issue. Like, Correct? Is this the one where they actually... Nah, I mean, are supposed to tie the knot? I don't know. Part two. We'll see. Kind of um, looks like it. I am looking forward to this book. I, I'm i such a doom sucker that it's going to be really hard for him t- for, for me to not like this book. Um, but, you know, Dan Slott's really good at screwing up characters that I love. So, <laughs> um, who knows? Maybe he'll do it again. We'll have to wait and see. Or we'll have to read and see. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. After that, we have the Mighty Valkyries number three. Um, we'll see, man. I'm, I've been enjoying this. I feel like we haven't read this book in forever. Uh, we'll see if Loki. That's hilarious because I feel like we just got one of these issues. <laughs> no, nah, I feel like I haven't read it in forever. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I do love the artwork in these books, and uh, I'll be interested to see how Jason Aaron and I don't remember who the second writer is on this book. Uh, Torin Gronbeck. Grombech, if they can kind of tie into each other, because right now they're both kind of telling two different but connected stories. So we'll see if we finally kind of get an emer- uh, an emerging story or merging of the stories. That's yeah. hard to say. What is this part three of five? Is that right? uh, five or six? Five or six. Okay. So we're still chugging along. Yep. Nice. All right. After that, we've got Infinite Destiny's Captain America Annual Number One, yeah. uh, with a Infinite Fury Part Two of Eight as well. Um, yeah, I have high hopes for this. I want, I really want to get into this infinite destinies story that's running across all these annuals. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm not a, the biggest Captain America fan, so intrigue me, please. Uh, yeah, no, but I am a Gary Duggan fan, so yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, excuse me, Jerry Duggan. What you did you said, say? You've said Gary so many times it messes me up. Sorry, uh, Gary Duggan. Dugan, Duggan. Jerry Duggan, excuse me. Would you get to the next book, please? Yes, because the next book is going to scare you. It is Alien, <laughs> number four. <laughs> no. Uh, what a great run this has been so far by my absolute beautiful, handsome writer friend, uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson. We're best friends now. I don't know if you knew. Really? I didn't know uh, that. Well, he liked, a, he liked a tweet that I tweeted, so I think but he means we're like, best friends. I thought we were best friends. You can have more than one best friend. They taught me that wow. in school. Wow. So... Go ahead. This is awkward. 
Uh, so th- <laughs> this book is, yeah, this book's been really good so far. We had a couple of issues uh, that felt, I've said this many times, but I'm going to keep saying it. In case this is your first time hearing me talk about Alien, the first issue, issue and a half, two issues, felt more like Alien, very suspenseful, very like what's creeping in the dark, sort of scaring you by what you don't see. And then that third book was very much Aliens, like action in your face, little, you know, little snippets getting their face bit off, like all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, Gross. So let's see what, what version we get in issue four. Right. Yeah. After that, we got a couple of Star Wars books. Can't, Star Wars. Can't be a can't be a full comic book week without some Star Wars books. Mom, I'm going to the Star Wars. <laughs> Here, here's a quarter. Go watch a Star Wars. All right. <laughs> Star Wars is actually what got me into comics, so I've always have a yeah. soft spot for them. Uh, we've got a War of the Bounty Hunters tie-in. This is hmm. the main Star Wars book, Star Wars issue 14. Um, we hmm. got a little bit of. Uh, chewy action on the front i'm always excited about that uh the previous issue was a lot of fun um it was the prelude issue for 13 and uh it it set up like a really cool uh possible like chase uh space battle so i think that's where we're going in this issue interesting yeah uh that that whole run so far the war of the bounty hunters has been great so far right um, so has Star Wars High Republic Adventures. I love how we just throw this IDW book always in our because I mean, it's Star Wars Marvel. It's um, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, this this series has also been great. Has been just as good, if not better, than the yeah. uh, Marvel High Republic series. We get a ton of action in these books. Um, we get uh, some cool characters. We're seeing the I cannot remember his name right now, but. Um, we get the main Nile bad guy uh, oh, in yeah, every yeah. issue of this book. So, um, and plus, I love that they do this. They print the the variant cover in the back for you, so that you know what the variant cover looked like for this issue. I believe his name is Black Hole Face. It's not. It's literally not that at all. <laughs> so, all right. So that does it for our Marvel books, and we're jumping into DC with Nightwing. 81 mm. uh the first i believe is this the first full appearance first part? full appearance full we're done with appearance. his we did his first cameo then second cameo now we're on first full appearance and first cover and appearance cover appearance of heartless right that's his name or something uh, like that apparently heartless yeah. um yeah i again potential pick of the week here this is number three mm-hmm. um nothing but good things nothing but good things about this book Yes, and uh, apparently there's a big spoiler, or not like a big spoiler, but a really big reveal in this book. Tom Taylor was like on Twitter before this book came out, was like, there's assholes out there tweeting, spoiler, don't look at it, it's really great. So <laughs> You said that, like, <laughs> there are assholes out there. <laughs> like, I was like, what? Oh, what yeah. You, oh, there, well, in the saying? book, too. Yeah, there's just a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Actually, I, hold on. There is something in here that is truly Ooh. amazing and, like, ultra uh, meta. Mm-hmm. And I would love to show it to our viewers here. But, no. I, I will show it to our viewers. You just got to give me just a moment to find it. Look at this panel. Look at the shirt that Barbara Gordon is wearing. Mm. She is wearing the Batman slapping Robin meme. Oh, on my God. her shirt. It is now officially canon of Batman slapping Robin. That's perfect. <laughs> That's dope. All right. All right. So After that, we have Static... Season one yes. from Milestone Returns. Uh, yes, I believe. Let's see. Vidaiella is writing this. Oh, and damn it. Yeah, I don't like. I told you, like, hey, you're picking it up. I was like, no. And I forgot because why I, I had like, 26 books, and I was like, what? But you're going to jump off of a Vida Ayala book? They're going to never. You. Mm, like, <laughs> they are. So, anyway, yes. I remember seeing this in solicitations and the artwork. Of, I mean, to be absolutely honest, outside of Vida Ayala, the artwork. The preview pages for the artwork just like sold me. So nice. I am very interested in this. And I'm going to go ahead and slip this into potentially being number four pick of the week. I'm just going to say it right now. Whoa. I'm just going to do it. Whoa. I'm just going to just just willy nilly. You know what? I I have a good feeling is probably not going to be on either of our pick, on ooh, the, ooh, pick of the week. Ooh, I know. I know. I know. It's Flash. It's Flash, Flash. number 771. <laughs> uh, this has been a pretty good run so far, except uh, the last issue I was like, <laughs> with Nazis, yeah, stop. Nazis, I'm, I'm over it. Yeah. Um, it seems like we are still doing the uh, jumping into different bodies. I believe he's mm-hmm. jumping into the anti-flash. Um, yep. Uh, 
What's Dr. Zoom, Thrawn? I think it is, or something like that. Oh, okay. I thought it was Eobard Thawne, Thrawn or something I, like I, that. I dude. I don't know. It doesn't matter. He's jumping into somebody's body. Um, the art looks interesting. Like, at some points, it looks, like, heavily cartoony, but, like, in a cool mm-hmm. way. But then it transitions. I'm trying not to look too much. Um, uh, yeah, they're, they're jumping from, like, the main artist to, like, uh, Justice League cartoon. Like, yes. from, like, the 60s. Like, yeah, That's like, from the yeah. dope. Uh, so it looks like um, this, will, this is our penultimate issue. Um, the final issue of this run, of this arc, I should say, uh, will be in the Flash Annual that comes out next month. Ah, uh, yes. So if you are enjoying this arc, if you're reading this arc, make sure that you're picking that up because it's not going to be part of your natural sub, you know, if you're just subbing to the book. Mm-hmm. Um, so keep that in mind. This arc ends in the Flash Annual. Got it. Yep. All right. That ends our DC books, and we're going to jump into Image and our independent books, and we're going to kick it off with another potential pick of the week, number four, Ooh, and it's Ultra book. Mega. Oh, there it is. Okay. Number four. It's so beefy. Now this, this, the way this book is made, mm-hmm. this is how Venom should have been made. Like this ding, ding, feels, ding, 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 ding. feels nice. It's, it's the same just, thing, too. It's square bound and it's glued. Yeah. We're, we don't have staples. Nope. But like... I can open these pages. I don't have. I have hardly any gutter loss. When mm. I, when I was looking at the Venom, I felt like I was opening it, up and I had to like almost like flatten it out just so I could read mm-hmm. it. It was so frustrating. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> Ultra Mega number four. This is probably my pick of the week. Pick of the week, but it oh. potentially could be another pick of the week. There's a lot of pick of the weeks going on here. Um, looking super forward to this. I am always amazed and just blown away by Ultra Mega. Mm-hmm. Um, and I found out that. This is going to eight issues, not. Uh, is four. that confirmed? That has been confirmed. Oh boy! So that is exciting. Very. Um, so yeah, this is uh, looking forward to this bad boy. Nice. After uh, that, right? Yeah. Okay. After that, we've got time before time number two. I have been tasked to make sure that this is the best issue ever to make sure that Nate does pick it up after our show yes. because he's like, you have to wow me. You must impress me. <laughs> I must be in order for me to pick this impressed. Entertain me. And uh, I believe it will be. So uh, eat your words. You're going to want to buy it after our show. Yes. So listen, I was going to have a 30 book week and I said, I can't do that. So I made some cuts. This one. Is what got cut. It's, it has nothing to do with the book. It's just honestly, it was because I forgot to put it on my sub, and I was like, "Well, I'm, we'll see." You mistake, know? mistake. I know, I know. After that, we have Radiant Black number hmm. five. Sorry. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. issue number five, Radiant Black. Jim is so excited about this book. He In- loved the way the last me. issue ended. Impress me, please. I am, v- I am super looking forward to this book, uh, just because. I'm really, I'm really excited with where we're going. I don't know if this was Kyle Higgins' uh, intent the whole time. I'm not going to say what happened, but like, uh, if you didn't enjoy the first three mm. issues of this I book, I looked inside. I looked inside. Uh, I don't want to hear it. If you didn't want, read the first three, <laughs> if you did read the first three issues and you're like, eh, issue four kind of blows everything up, and it seems like maybe we're going a totally different direction. I don't know if that was planned or if Kyle Higgins was like seeing reviews and was like, hey, let's shake it up a bit. But let's shake it up. It's gotten me to where issues two and three and four, when I saw them in my pool, I was like, I kind of arranged them in, in order that I'm excited to read them. Mm-hmm. And Radiant Black always went to the bottom. This one made it much higher in the top because wow. I really want to see what we're doing in this book. All right. As, um, oh, what's, what's his name? Wilson. What's that guy's actor? What's that actor's name? Tom Hanks? No. The one that goes, wow. Owen Wilson. Is it Owen Wilson or Luke Wilson? I can't remember which one does. Wow. It's Owen. I think it's Owen Wilson. Anyway, wow. <laughs> next up. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. What? That's mine, but you can, you can do it. Oh, it is? Yeah. Silver coin's yours? Yeah. Oh, we'll fucking do it, though. Cheers. <laughs> next up, we have uh, Silver Coin number oh. three. This has been hey. a uh, roller coaster uh, two issues, so I'm looking forward to this third one. Uh, because the first issue was written by uh, channel favorite Chip Zdarsky, and it was sort of... Eh. And then issue two was written by Kelly Thompson, and I was like, fuck yeah, this is great. Fucking good, uh, bro. Which, it's, and issue three now, we've got Ed Brizen on here. Um, mm. 
we've got just some superstar writers uh, telling Dude. some horror stories. So, yep. I have not peeked inside this one or looked at what it's supposed to be about. So, and I don't want to know. So okay, keep a secret. Far enough. Next up, we've got <laughs> Home issue three. I got the variant <sighs> cover. Um, you forgot to put this on your pull list, but <laughs> supposedly you're going to pick it up. Oh, I'm but for sure. You won't give. You won't pick up time before time. So, I just yes. like I don't get it. Anyway, um, because I've made. I, if if you, you, none, I, none. I am about I am about to make all the comic skaters fucking roll in their graves. Nonsense. If I have to pick up a book, just and I can only pick up one, and it's from a white creator or a brown creator, I'm going to okay, pick it up okay. from the brown creator. Yes, you're right. You're right. So, anyway, that's why. We'll see how this goes. I think this one's going to be action packed, and uh, let's see. Let's dive deeper into home. Let's just yep. get into it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious to see uh, how deep this family trait goes. Uh, Secret I family trait. Because it's pretty deep. Oh. Uh, that's it for our image books. Now yep. we're going to move on to channel favorite publisher, Boom Studios. Boom. Berserker, number three. Yo. And do you know what this book wins automatically? What? Worst cover of the week. <laughs> this cover it is also, lame and it disappointing. Also it feels very thin. This issue feels very thin. Like, it doesn't... It almost feels like it shouldn't be part of this beefy haul. Like, it feels uh, very thin. I mean, with a lame cover and a thin book, you just might as well throw it out, right? All right, next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see where it goes. It's been good so far. After that, we've got Lila Star, issue number three. Another heavy hitter, potential pick of the week. Ram yeah. V, kicking ass. Also, uh, Felipe... Uh, on the art, uh, yep. I mean, dude, amazing. So, if you're not reading, if you're not reading Lila Star right now, mm-hmm. what are you doing? I agree. Uh, and apparently, the main a- antagonist, or not antagonist, the main uh, plot device for this book that we follow is a cigarette. So, oh, we literally follow the life of a cigarette, and I'm super excited about that. Interesting. <laughs> uh, yes. After that, uh, we have. Seven Secrets, number mm. nine. Mm. And I think this is going to be very high up on my list and possible picks of the week. Wow. Uh, Tom Taylor has been killing it. I think uh, we're on issue nine, so we've reviewed eight issues so far, and I think four or five issues have been my pick of the week so far. This is one mm-hmm. of the strongest uh, current, you know, ongoing books, regardless of publisher title. This is right. one of the very strongest ones. Not only is Tom Taylor writing an amazing book, uh, but, and I'm going to butcher this, but Di Nicolo, Di Nicolo, I don't know, but the artist is fantastic, which is hilarious. I know James is going to run a bit in my face every time, because when we first got this book, we did our special preview of it. I was like, I don't know about the art. It's a little too anime. Mm, and now I'm like, I love the art. Oh. Yep. So, <laughs> sorry. I have a lot of knee-jerk reactions sometimes. Very much so. Next up, we have from <laughs> Boombox, Save Yourself Number One. Uh, you know, pick this one, this one up on a whim, but it's very like Sailor Moon esque, Powerpuff Girl esque. Um, it's an LGTP, LGBTQ, IA plus mm-hmm. book, and uh, looking forward to it. I'm, I am a huge like Sailor Moon like fan girl. And so, I uh, I, I want to read it. It looks like okay. fun. So totally, check it out. I, I am not a Sailor Moon fan girl or a fan boy or a fan person. I will I will turn you. I will turn you. There's literally no way. Uh, pff, that's what you said about Seven Secrets, and that's what you said about. Anime I didn't say now, there's literally manga, no way. I, and now I you're like reading. Seven Secrets from the now ego. you're now you're fucking reading manga. So I never said no manga, way on that. So. Speaking of manga, we have from a blaze. Oh, interesting. Space Pirate, Captain Harlock, number one. Um, I remember seeing, I think it's Spaceship Yamato. I can't, I don't remember exactly, but I remember seeing that when I was a, like a kid, like on Showtime, mm. like at night. They were like, oh, anime. Um, so when I saw that this was coming out, I was like, hell yeah, I want to I read this. So um, this also, I'm going to throw in there, might be a sleeper pick of the week. Just going to throw that out there. Interesting. It may not, maybe, but we got a new publisher in here for Independence. I'm looking to forward to it. Interesting. All right, that uh, ends our haul. Yep, that's the new comic haul. 
and you've got something, and then I've got an announcement to make. Okay. Okay, I've so got a couple things. Why don't you start it off, and then okay. we'll end with the announcements. Okay. Uh, a couple of th- new additions. One new comic that I uh, that does come out this week, and if I can somehow make it through my entire um, list, I might read. But this is totally a cover by. This is Superman Red and Blue number four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, number four. But it's just because of this uh, Thor 337 homage. Um, it is by Walter Simonson. And my favorite thing about this cover is at the very bottom where you do the remarks, uh, he puts after me, which I think is absolutely hilarious um, because he's ripping himself off. <laughs> uh, so I picked this up just as a cover by. Super cool. Um, this actually came in the mail this week that I forgot about. Um, I picked up Astonishing X Men number six. Yeah. Uh, this is not only a uh, iconic cover. I think it's okay, but most people, uh, you know, the Kitty Pride Colossus relationship is uh, a, a big selling point for collectors. But this is also the first appearance. Of Abigail Brand, so oh. that book's probably going to get hot. I wanted it in my personal collection, so I thought, get it now before it gets too hot. Yeah, good and, idea. And uh, finally, I picked up the third uh, installment of uh, James Tynion's um, Batman hardcover. This is mm-hmm. Ghost Stories mm-hmm. covers uh, issues one hundred one through one hundred five, Batman Annual number five, and a short <clears throat> short story from Detective Comics. N27. Very uh, cool. This will get me fully caught up on all the tiny issues. Uh, we jumped on at issue 106 um, on singles. And so I bought the first two hardcovers. This just came out this week. So I got this to uh, shore up that hole in my collection. Yeah, for sure. Cool. That's it. That's what I got. All right. So off to some announcements. Uh, first of all, we have, we're in the middle of doing a milestone giveaway and we are one, I repeat, one subscriber away from hitting 250 subscribers milestone. Damn. So, if you're watching this right now and you're not subbed, hit that subscribe button. Just hit that bell. Because if you do, you enter yourself in to win this 9.8 Dark Knight Metal tie-in Batman Who Laughs number one. God, I'm so cup. tired of hearing it. Right, right? So we <laughs> want to give this away on Sunday. We only need one more subscriber. Please, subscribe. And when we give this away... The next book I'm going to talk about for probably a good two to three months. Cut. Cut. We don't have to talk about this book. Don't let We're going to be giving away <laughs> this CGC 9.4 Wolverine number one. Yeah. First ongoing series. We are going to give this away at 500 subscribers. Don't listen to Nate. We will be giving this away. So, please, 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 please. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Give us a like. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it for the show. We need one subscriber, please. So just give us one. We just need one. And we'll get there. And we'll just stop talking about that. And we'll start talking about that new book. Because I know all of y'all want us to give away this book. Like, I know you want us to give away this book. So, Hmm. anyway, I hope you enjoyed our video. (laughs) And and as always, read more comics. Later. Bye-bye.